Hello everybody, Patrick Glenn Nichols here and I'm here today with a really special 1969 Camaro SS396 that surfaced in West Virginia a few months ago and now it is located here in Kentucky and I thought I'd come do a walk around video of this car. It's a really special car, an SS396 Camaro that's virtually unaltered, original paint, original drivetrain, documentation, blue, blue, 396, three and a quarter horse power, um, one of only about 600, 6,750 of these were made in the 1969 Camaro. So still a pretty rare car, the 396, 325 horsepower version. So we'll do a total walk around video of the car. I'll do my best to show you like we always do, the total condition of the car, the way it sits, it's barely even been cleaned. Some of the dust and debris is still on the car. I do believe this car may start it does have the flat tires still. There's some of the dust on the front and the grill and around the back is still there. So we'll try to um, expose that and let you see that on display as best as I can. So we'll go all the way around the body, underneath the best we can down low and let you see what little rust is here. It's a very low rust car, been inside most of his life. Again, this car was parked in 1981 and just now recently was sold and surfaced in the last few months. So here we go. What you see is glacier blue with blue interior with bucket seats and an automatic transmission. So the standard SS, the base X66 model is what this car is, the base SS396. And most of its original paint is still here. I do believe it's received some touch paint on the passenger side, but aside from that, this is a really nice car. All five of the YJ wheels are here, which I will discuss. I think I'll show you, before we even get started, I'll show you this spare right here. The YJ, which is dated June the 7th. This is a June car. That's an old Uniroyal Tiger Paw S7014 that you cannot buy. So you know that is not a reproduction. So here we go. We'll go around the driver's side first. This car is wearing all of its battle scars of 50 plus years. And these tires are replacement Uniroyal Tiger Paws, but all five of the wheels are here, the rally wheels, which would have been an upgrade from the painted standard wheel with the, what they call the poverty caps or the dog dish hubcaps. You see the three, 396 and what they call the hockey stick striping. Really solid car. I know 69 Camaros are pretty much Chevrolet royalty, along with the 70 Chevelle. Any big block muscle car is really worthy of a video. The 69 Camaro is pretty much the cream of the crop. So I definitely wanted to do the video of this car. They say the owner had a tarp on the car for a few years and that's the culprit for this here, these imperfections in the paint on the top of the deck lid back here. You see the SS in the blacked out rear. This car did not come with a spoiler. And the rear quarter panels are really solid. A little bit of rust down here. But I'm a big fan of unrestored cars as most of my friends and people that follow my work are aware of. I really don't think that you restore this car. I think you leave it the survivor example that it is. I can tell you it from one cruise in to car show to the next, most people will walk right by the shiny over restored 
beautiful piece to look at the actual historical or the history of something that the way it really was the true 50 year there's no way you can duplicate 50 years of age let's just check in the passenger side it did come with blue bucket seat interior and automatic transmission so this is a blue blue 69 Camaro SS 396. Interior is in really nice shape. This car has not seen the cleaning at all. Just some of it of the dust was removed off the body. But the interior and the doors and you can still see the, the cobwebs and other forms of dust and debris all in this car. That's the way I like to document these cars. Most of my friends and followers or followers of my work don't really like to refer to them as followers or followers of my work. Really enjoy the cars that are documented as found. That's the stuff that I try to showcase and document for you. This is the area here. I think there may have been some paint work right in this area. But aside from that, we got a virtually totally original paint, unaltered car here. And you see the original Super Sport hood there. I'll lift the hood now and go over some features of this 396 three and a whole quarter 325 horsepower really neat right off the bat we'll go straight to the emissions decal you can see three 325 horsepower and a little bit of glare there and this is the instructions for setting the timing and so forth. The original radiator is still in this car, dated May of 69. So if we can get a shot of that, you can see the E right there. And then the ZE code automatic. And you see the automatic cooling line, the correct valve cover on this side does not have the provisions for the TCS like would be on a 70 model. But if you'll notice on this other side, this being a fairly later car all up into June, but most, you know, 69 Camaro enthusiasts know that the 69 body style ran way up into October, November. So this wouldn't be considered real, real late, but this does have the later version, which most would consider the 70 model valve cover on this side with the valve cover loom in front. And I don't think that's been changed. I think that was worn on this car. Another thing that's neat to see on this car, being a 325 horsepower, this has the 105 DD special high performance power steering pulley on the car, which I think it was born with that as well. Although it's supposed to have a shallow groove pulley. Another little conversation piece. I do not believe that has been changed. That was born on this car. And of course, that's the 69 specific power steering brackets. Really cool. And then the fuel filter setup and return line for the oval port hydraulic cam versions, specific for the 69s as well. And then the no hole solid alternator bracket is in place, which is correct. And we have the master cylinder has been replaced. And we'll lift the air cleaner at this point and look at the quattro jet. Now, okay. You can see the kick down switch back here that was is definitely 
specific or correct for the Nova. I mean the Camaro. So like on the Chevelle, the kick down will be on the gas pedal. You see how the vacuum line for the power brakes. The T is mounted to the back stud of the carburetor. That's definitely correct on the 69 model as well. A lot of stuff on this car, unaltered. About the only thing I see truly altered here so far would be the master cylinder. Let's do a quick rundown of the cow tag real fast. Okay, 69 for 1969, 12437 for two-door coupe with a V8. So, NOR for Norwood, and I think we have the body number is 3578. I believe that's four zero seven one five. That's blue bucket seat interior, and then fifty three fifty three for Glacier blue upper and lower, and then zero six for June. And I believe that's a D. And then X sixty six for like we spoke before. SS 396, the base SS 396. That's what we have here. It's a really cool car. And then we'll go over the documentation, which I have on top of the car at this point. You just really don't see cars like this anymore. This is one of 6,700 SS 396, 325 horsepower, 69 Camaros. That's pretty much puts it in the rare classification right off the bat and then to be a survivor original paint original drivetrain with docks and runs this is not something you come across every day lot new at roger dean incorporated charleston west virginia there you go 69 soft ray tinted glass the console does have positive traction 325 horsepower turbo hydromatic transmission power steering, AM push, push button radio, and then the rally wheels we, we discussed, and then the SS equipment. We have a final price at 3372.20. And this was June the 27th of 69. So that tells you that more than likely that's a 06A on that cow tag. There's no way it was built and sold that close together. So we've got a first week of June and June the 27th. And then there's this other documentation here from Roger Dean. It shows the options and then the prices for that. The console, see the radiator, dual exhaust, turbo hydromatic automatic, I think with 325 horsepower big block engine, SS equipment, so forth and so on, and that is dated, looks to be May 6th. looks like second. So, well, May, late May, this was drawn up. So this is probably when this car was ordered by this individual. It's what it appears to be when the order was placed. It's neat documentation. And we have the 69 owner's manual and some other documentation where some parts were ordered. That's what we have here. This is where the where the car was ordered and this is the actual bill of sale. Neat car. Okay, let's see what we can in the driver's side.
to shut it off quick. We don't want carbon monoxide poisoning, but it does run. And the key warning buzzer works as well. Really nice car here. Again, parked since 1981 in West Virginia. It's recently sur surfaced. And the individual made a purchase on this car and has really done nothing to it. You're seeing it as found. And it runs pretty neat. And I would call it a really, really solid car. Of course, it's not rust free. Very few are can meet that classification. But it's very solid. Minor rust. I would put it right about a somewhere between an eight and a nine as far as unaltered body as far as rust is concerned being 50 ish 51 years old of course you know i've seen some that are ones and twos that have been outside you know in michigan and ohio on dirt floors and barns so this definitely is a eight to a nine with a lot of original equipment here radiator engine carburetor oil dipstick, valve covers, distributor, missing the, the brake master cylinder, but that can be located. And a lot of documentation here as well. All five wheels, air cleaner as well. I do believe the odometer is showing about 33, 34,000 miles on this car. Don't think, I'm sure we'll be able to focus perfectly, but we will try. There you go. A little uneven there, but it looks like about 34,000. Automatic trans, brake, Everything adds up. When very few things have been changed, things just add up. Like we've said before, and there you go. This is the way most of the car looked, the exterior body, before it was cleaned. So some, you know, the exterior of the car has been cleaned some. For the most part, it is as found. Really nice 69 Camaro. One of about 6,750 SS 396, 325 horsepower 69 Camaros ever made, and virtually unaltered. I'm Patrick Glenn Nichols with Patrick Glenn Nichols Muscle Car Barn Finds. If you need assistance authenticating your 1970 Chevelle, you can contact me at pnichols26 at Yahoo or Patrick Glenn Nichols Muscle Car Barn Finds on Facebook and YouTube. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. We like your comments. Everybody has an opinion. We try to keep them positive, but we want comments. So I love your particip participation, so I definitely welcome that. Again, thanks for watching. More videos on the way.